My name is Amanda, and <clears throat> I am currently a senior at Chico State. I'm actually a fifth-year senior, and this happens to be my last semester, which is really exciting but also really scary. Um, I am currently getting a major in multicultural and gender studies with an emphasis in women's studies, and then I am also getting two minors. Um, my first minor is health promotion, and my second minor is the pathway minor, which is ethics, justice, and policy. <clears throat> um, so today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about like the stress of what to do after graduation, and I'm really going to focus on the stress of moving somewhere new. So, personally, I was born and raised here in Chico. I was born in the hospital. I went to high school here. I went to college here. I've really never left. The only time I've ever left Chico is for trips, such as places like um, Virginia and all that kind of stuff. But I've only been gone, like, I think a max, like, 10 days at a time. Um, and so I actually recently came across an opportunity where I get to leave Chico and leave California. Um, come January, I will be moving to Ohio, which is really big for me. Um, <clears throat> it's also kind of scary because I'm going from my hometown, and not only am I leaving my town, but I'm leaving my state, and I'm leaving my time zone. They're actually three hours ahead. And so I'm pretty much leaving everything that I'm familiar with and starting over. Um, thankfully, when I move, I do have somewhat of a support system when I'm going over there. So that definitely makes it easier, but I'm still su super nervous. Um, one of the things that I'm, like, really scared about is finding a job. I know that a lot of us, you know, college students, we are going to college and all that kind of stuff. And uh, one of the biggest things that we worry about is, like, what are we going to do when we graduate? You know, are we going to go to grad school? Are we going to get a job? All that kind of stuff. And I looked into grad school and there's actually a school in Ohio that is a woman's, that offers women's studies as a grad program. And uh, I might do it, but I actually decided to take potentially a year off and see if I could find a job that I loved. And then if not, I plan on going back to school. Um, sorry, I hiccups. <laughs> um, but... In the meantime, I'm like, I really want to find a job. Like, I'm super excited to start working. And, like, my goal is hopefully to work in a health clinic um, and provide health for women, especially um, disadvantaged women. That's kind of, like, my overall goal. But it's really hard. I don't have any job connections in Ohio, whereas here I have a little bit more of job connections because I've worked here in Chico for, you know, seven years. Um, whereas in Ohio, I've never had a job there. So I feel like I'm starting from scratch, which is really scary. Um, so lately I've kind of been like looking at LinkedIn and Indeed and like just kind of seeing like what they have out there. And they actually do have a health clinic <clears throat> that in one of their departments deals with like domestic violence which is, like, right up with what I want to do. And I looked, and they actually are hiring. Um, the biggest thing is, is I can't start work until January 20th, and so I'm kind of waiting to apply until it gets a little bit closer, so that way I'm not like, oh, you know, I can't start for two months. Um, I'm really hoping I get a job there. That would be, like, my absolute dream job. Um, however, I'm also applying at other places that maybe aren't 100% my goal, but, like, something to get started at, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it's really scary, um, and it just makes me super nervous to move somewhere and, like, not really have, like, a job set up because I currently have a job here, and I'm leaving that job, and I'm leaving, you know, my hometown, I'm leaving my house and all that stuff to start something new, so that's kind of scary, but I'm also super excited, you know, like I said, I've never left Chico. I've lived here my whole life, and I'm, you know, as much as I love Chico, I'm really excited to, like, see what other places have to offer and see what this new place has to offer, and, you know, Ohio is a lot different than California, and I think that that might be really interesting to go somewhere and, like, try to make a change in a different state. So, yeah, like, I don't know. The stress of graduating is really prominent, and then you add on to that the stress of, you know, finding a job, and am I doing the right thing when I graduate, and, you know, 
I know for me, it's like, should I be going to grad school? Am I making the wrong decision by not going? But I'm trying to follow my heart and just do what I think is best for myself. And right now, I think what's best for myself is to try and work. And maybe I'll find my dream job. And then if not, I can, you know, school isn't going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, that's kind of like what I've been doing. And I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the stress of like what we're doing after graduation. Because I know a lot of us are like, well, the last four years, like my goal has been like graduate, graduate, graduate. And now that I'm graduating, it's like, okay, what's next? And so I kind of just wanted to address that because I completely like... I don't know, like, it's just something that I'm really worried about, but I'm also really, really excited about, and so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to get that off my chest and, like, give somebody else reassurance that, like, you're not alone, we're all really stressed out about graduation, we're all really stressed out about working, like, but we're all going to find what's right for us, and I'm super excited, so thanks for listening.